Welcome to Internet Quality Academy. The channel is for the quality control engineer, site engineer, and the civil engineer who are working in the construction field. In this channel, we are dealing with anything and everything which is required to get success in the construction. Today also, I'm going to discuss about a very important topics on construction. That is, what is manufactured sand? Now, it is widely used in the construction. So, what is manufactured sand? How it is produced? What are the different types of manufactured sand? And what is the properties as per Indian I uh, Indian standard IS383? With all details, I will discuss in today's video. So, stay tuned until the end to get the full information about the manufactured sand. And if you are new in my channel, kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get immediate notification so without wasting time let's jump into the subject that is manufactured sand now first we need to know what is manufactured sand that definition is given in is 383 in is 383 clause 3.14 is given the manufactured sand definition so let's go to the is code itself to understand what is manufactured sand. See, 3.14 it's given that for fine aggregates manufactured from other than natural sources by processing material using thermal or other process such as separation, washing, crushing and scrubbing. Now, it is very much important to understand that manufactured sand are not the crushed sand or the crusher sand. Crushed sand or crushed sand is produced by crush the stone but the manufactured sand it is not taken from the natural sources that means it is not using the natural resources so how it is produced it is produced from the byproduct material whatever it is produced that is using to products in the manufacturing fine aggregate so fine aggregate manufacturer other than natural source. So it is not taking any material from the environment. So it is environment friendly. It is protecting the environments and by processing material, that means whatever the byproduct they are using that one, that is also helpful and other way to environmental protection. So what is that? It is a manufacturing fine aggregates may be recycled concrete aggregate uh, also. So if there is any concrete aggregate that can be also recycled and it can be uh, ensured that it is at the manufacturer sand. So it is saying in Annex A. Let's go to the Annex A. What is Annex A it is saying? It is given full details which will be considered as a manufactured sand. See, this is Annex A. Brief information on aggregates from other than natural sources. That means manufactured sand. So first what he's saying, it can be for iron and steel slag aggregates. What he's saying, iron slag is obtained as a byproduct while producing iron in a blast furnace or basic oxygen furnace in integrated iron and steel plants. The lime in the flux chemically combined with the aluminates and silicates of the iron ore and coke ash to form a non-metallic product called iron or blast furnace slag. The molten slag at a temperature of approximately 1500 degrees centigrade is taken out to the furnace and cooled to from different types of slag products. So iron slag products, which is the byproduct from the iron ore industry. So that is we are making uh, and using it as a concrete and it's called the manufactured sand. So how it can be different types of slag products, air cooled iron slag products, then granulated iron slag product, then steel slag uh, slag product now steel slag product is steel slag is a byproduct produced in steel making operation in integrated with iron and steel plants the calcinite lime used as a flux combines with these silicates aluminum oxide magnesium oxide a manganese oxide and ferrites to form steel steel furnace slag commonly called the steel slag so that was the iron slag it's at the steel slag so what is it that is also different types air cooled or the granulated iron slag it's like that then another thing is copper slag so first one we have discussed that is a1 
iron slag and a1 a11 is iron slag and a12 is steel slag so uh, from the iron industry and the steel industry whatever the slag is produced and it is recycled as a uh, manufactured aggregate now another types of manufactured aggregate is copper slag aggregates what is that copper slag is produced as a byproduct from copper smelter while producing copper from copper uh, concentrated or copper pyrite through pyrometallurgical process in the process of smelting the iron present in the copper concentrate combines chemically at 1200 degrees centigrade with silica present in flux material such as riverbed sand silica sand quartz fine to find form iron silicate which is termed as copper slag so in the copper industry also there is a copper slag and that copper slag also we can use as a preparation of manufactured aggregate now, how it is that copper slag is blackish granulate material similar to medium to coarse and fine having size ranging from 150 micron to 4.75 mm that is our um, range for the fine aggregate 4.75 to 150 micron this aggregate has potential for use as a fine aggregate in accordance with the previous provision of standard 4 that is the uh, uh, copper slag aggregate here is uh, you can see this is the steel slag and this is the uh, air cooled iron slag this is the copper slag now construction and demolition waste now we in the construction industry also there is a, a huge amount of concrete is demolished so what is happening that can also be used for preparation of the manufactured sand that is saying use of construction and demolition waste for manufacture of, of aggregate is a step forward effective management and utilization of the waste if we are not using that one what will happen it has to deposited in the environment so the land air water can be polluted and this will affect the human civilization so if we are recycling it or using it as a manufactured set actually we are helping to environmental protection so what is that this however requires necessary care while producing aggregates to ensure their efficacy in their reuse as a part of concrete these aggregates may be of two types namely recycled aggregate ra and recycled concrete aggregate rca re is made from c and d waste that means concrete uh, construction and demolition waste which may comprise concrete brick tile stone etc while rca is derived from concrete after requisite processing so there are ra and rca reinforced that is recycled concrete aggregate and recycled aggregate ra that is recycled aggregate from uh, construction and demolition and recycled concrete aggregate that is derived from concrete after requisite processing so these are the process they are making so these are see demolition of waste before processing that is the rc that is reinforced concrete aggregate and this is reinforced aggregate uh, so recycled aggregate and recycled sorry recycled concrete aggregate and another also that is environmental safety and quality standard using iron and steel and copper slag aggregate. The engineer, engineer in charge may get the iron and steel and copper slag aggregates checked for hazardous substances at appropriate frequency. Specialized literature may be uh, referred for the test method. The technique commonly used are inductivity coupled plasma spectroscopy and atomic absorption spectro photometer so these are the test for using whenever we are using copper slag or the steel slag for the hazardous materials that also we need to test before using it the construction so these are the different different uh, types of uh, manufactured aggregate here it is saying that is the environmental safety and quality standard what is uh, calcium lead uh, hexavalent chromium arsenic mercury so how much that can be that is maximum content is given milligram per liter and milligram per kg that is 150 150 150 so whenever we are using copper slag or the steel slag we need to check the the percentage of the calcium and, and everything so how much maximum it is given in this table so whenever you are using any manufactured sand please you use this table to find out whether this has the any hazardous material or not so let's summarize there are different types of manufactured sand one is for iron slag aggregate one is for steel slag aggregate another is for copper slag aggregate 
and another is for construction aggregate that is a uh, RCA, this is recycled concrete aggregate and recycled aggregate. So this about the manufacturers and how it is produced. But there is also another things we need to take in care whenever we are dealing with the manufacturer sand. So we have given this what is manufacturer sand and next part is uh, what is the source of manufacturing that is in the annex year A we have already discussed. The third part is uh, what is the use of mid manufacturer sand that is we need to know that whenever we are preparing anything in the manufactured sand or the recycled sand from the iron uh, slag or whatever so what is the use of this that is given in the table one so let's go to the table one for our is 383 in table one table one let me open the table one this is table one. So these see, these are the table one. Table one key extent of utilization. So you need to know what is the criteria that any copper slag or iron slag or RC or RA we can use. This has the criteria. See, coarse aggregate for the iron and slag aggregate. <coughs> Maximum percentage for what they mean plain cement concrete maximum utilization 50% we can use not that the 100% we can use uh, directly the manufacturers and it has given the extent of utilization see you can see clause 4.2.1 here this shall be coarse and fine aggregate as defined in the 3.1 that means how what is the manufacturers and the manufactured aggregate shall be permitted with the extent of utilization as percent of total mass of fine or coarse aggregate as the case may be as indicated in table 1. So, if it, in iron slag, we can use in plain cement concrete 50%, uh, in reinforced cement concrete uh, 25%, and lean concrete less than M50 grade, that is 100%. So, if it is M50 less than M15, that we can use 100%. But it is in uh, reinforced cement, that is 25%, and it is 50%. Steel slag aggregate, uh, and in PCC, 25%, and reinforced concrete is nil. It cannot use, but in the lean concrete, M15, 100%. Then recycled concrete aggregate, that is RC, 25 in 20 only up to m25 grade that means if it is more above m25 we cannot use and here it is 100 then recycled aggregate that is ra nil nil it is 100 then bottom ash from thermal power plant nil nil it is 25 percent and this fine aggregate these are the for the coarse aggregate if we are using the manufactured aggregate as a coarse aggregate these are the table you need to follow for the maximum percentage we can use in the total mass of the aggregate. Now, in the fine aggregate, iron slag, here it is 50, here it is 25, it is 100. Steel slag aggregate, 25, nil, 100. Copper slag aggregate, 40, 35, and 50. A recycled concrete, RCA, 25, 20, only up to 25, and it is 100. Okay, so these are the extent of utilization of manufactured aggregate whenever we are using as a replacement of the fine or the coarse aggregate the next is what is the properties property c properties is in table two it is already given so and next part is we can see the additional requirement which is given in the table three four five six so let's see what is in table three two and table three four five six see other properties the particle size distribution mechanical property flakiness index elongation index that should be matched as per the is 383 that i am not discussing today but what are the other properties which need to be fulfill that i am discussing the whatever the additional properties that has to fulfill with the manufactured sand so use i will mention now in table two limit of deleterious material what is deleterious material that also we need to know clause 5.2.1 let's see limit of deleterious material the maximum quantity of deleterious material shall not exceed the limit specified in table two however the engineer in charge in this directions uh discretion may relax some or many is an other process okay so deleterious material okay, aggregates shall not contain any harmful material such as pyrites coal ignite mica shell or similar laminated material clay alkyl uh, alkali free lime soft uh, fragments seashells and organic impurities in such quantity as to affect the strength and durability of the concrete so these are the impurities if you are 
are present in the uh, aggregate that can affect the concrete strength and the durability. So ice code has given the permission that that will be the maximum limit we can use. So what is the maximum limit that we can use? In table two, it is given. See, coal and ignite, if it is a manufactured sand, it is one per percentage, fine aggregate percentage by marks uh, is one percent. Coarse aggregate, that is also 1%. Clay lumps, maximum 1. It here is also 1. Material finer than 75 micron in ISM. Here it is 10%. Here it is 1% if it is a coarse aggregate. Soft fragment, that is, uh, here it is not required. Here it is 3%. Shell, that is 1% and it, it is not mentioned. So total percentage of deleterious material except mica, including serial number 1 to 4 and column 7. Here it is maximum 2% and here it is 2%. So what will be the deleterious material percentage? We need to check in the table 2. Here it is a manufactured sand in the manufactured sand. But other chemical and physical properties, the particle size distribution should be as per IS383 and that I am not discussing today. Then it will be a be longer video. Now, let's go to uh, table number 3. Table number 3, let's see what is he saying. In table 9, the additional requirement for all manufactured aggregates. So, total alkali content as NO to N to Na2O equivalent percentage max 0.3. Total sulfate content at SO3, 0.5. Acid soluble chloride content, 0 0.04. Water absorption, 5%. And these are has the additional requirement for the manufacturer aggregate. So whenever you are selecting, please use the table 3 that you will find out and you will match whether the character is satisfied or not. If not, please do not use. Uh, then there will be a detrimental effect on concrete strength and the durability. Now it's a table 4. Additional requirement, can see what is this? Calcium oxide as CO, 45%. Total surface as um, AS, uh, sulfur, 2%. Total iron as FeO, that is 3%. And then in table 5, additional requirement for electric uh, furnace oxidation slack coarse aggregate. Calcium oxide as CA2, 40%. Magnesium oxide MgO, 10%. Total iron as FeO, 50%. Basic uh, city as CaO by SiO2, that is 2%. Then additional requirement for copper slag. Here it is iron slag. Uh, oxide slag coarse aggregate. This is for iron and steel. And this is for copper. Calcium oxide as CO, 12%. Total sulfur as sulfur, 2 Total iron as Fe, 70%. Chromium as NaCl is 0.003%. So whenever you are selecting manufacture sand in your project, please check the IS383. It has given all the requirement what is to be uh, satisfied in table 1, table 2, table 3, table 4, table 5, table 6. And in Annex A, it has given what are the manufacture sand. But that is the one thing. It should not take anything from the environment it will only process the byproduct of copper iron and reinforced uh, recycled cement or aggregate recycled concrete aggregate or recycled aggregate so these are the thing all about the manufactured sand but there is also another thing we need to check care that is what is the limitation here yeah, code has given the limitation that also we need to know in the clause number four point 2.22 the say it is saying that manufactured aggregate shall not be permitted for use in pre-stressed concrete so if your concrete is a pre-stressed concrete con uh, is 383 cross 4.2.2 is given that limitation that it cannot be used as per the is 4.383 clause 4.2 so let's summarize what we discuss in today's video that is, what is manufactured sand? What are the source of manufactured sand? What is the uses? What is the properties? And what is the additional requirement that is in table 2, table 3, table 4, table 5, table 6 and the limitations. So I hope uh, it is clear or this information is valuable to you about the manufactured sand. And if you like it, please like, share and subscribe my channel. And I'm waiting for your comments so that from your comment, everybody will be benefited. And if you want to know anything more about quality control and construction, please let me know. I will come with more content like this. And thank you once again for watching me.